The first week of the UFL season has come and passed, which means it is now time to finally dive into some power rankings. It was a really, really fun first week, so let's just again dive right into it. Coming in at number eight, I have the DC Defenders. I've seen some people have them a little higher. They just looked like a complete mess to me against San Antonio in week one. The only team to not score a touchdown this first week. The defense looking completely off pretty much the entire game. They did step it up in the second half, but the offense just never got anything fully clicking. A multiple drives and in plus territory that just did not result in a touchdown. Jordan Tiamu, he looked fine, but I mean, it's, uh, he got he did get injured, so I'm not going to put too much on him with the interception, but I don't know, it was just a very, very rough week. Number seven is the Houston Roughnecks, although... Again, they, their offense also looked rough. The defense did play a lot better come the second half, forcing multiple turnovers, including one that led up to their only touchdown of the game. I like what I saw from their defense. Yes, Ruben Foster getting hurt is going to be an interesting one to watch over. But for the most part, I do think Houston played overall a more complete game than D.C., which is why they're at number seven. Number six is the Arlington Renegades. Another case of in the first half, they were playing really well. Offense was getting stuff going, the defense was playing well, and they kind of just could not could not get it together in the second half, especially on defense. They looked rough. It's his first week, they'll look better. Luis Perez played decently. They played a really safe style of offense that tried to that tried to be all around. It didn't end up working in the second half. They panicked, went to a more pass happy. That that happens. Number five is the St. Louis Battlehawks. They really got together into entering the fourth. It was just a case of whoever won this game was going to be at four, the loser was going to be at five. Same thing with Michigan, who's at number four. We mentioned that right now. I might as well. Again, neither team played well all four quarters. Both teams, St. Louis and Michigan, played really well in the fourth quarter, which is why it ended up being a really fun game. Just Michigan gets the edge at four because they won thanks to the 64-yard field goal. But again, I do think St. Louis is going to rise the ranks, uh, even just as next season rolls around, and next week rolls around. But yeah, so St. Louis 5, Michigan at 4. Number 3 is Memphis. I like the style of offense they played. It was a very, very methodical offense. They didn't waste too much. They wasted a lot of time, long, sustained drives. They got a nice win. It's They're at 3. Again, I just think that their offense is one that worked extremely well. Again, you have back-to-back -back drives and resulted in 10 total points. That was both, they're both 10-plus plays, both nearly 10-plus minutes. It was just a great, great first half for their offense. And then when the second half rolled around, they didn't really have to do much. They just relied on the defense, which was a really, really good defense. So they're at number three. Number two is the Birmingham Stallions. The first half was a little rough. I feel like the offense was leaving a little bit too to be desired there, but they figured it out. Come the second half, they look like a complete team in the second half. It's just I wanted. It's just it wasn't what I was expecting out of them. I was kind of hoping for a little more from the offense, especially in the first half. They were running the ball really well with Adrian Martinez and Matt Corral, and Corral finally figured out the passing game late into that first half. So they're at number two, and then at number one is the San Antonio Brahmas. They're, uh, they were just a really, really fun team to watch. Offense was clicking pretty much in all cylinders. Yes, the second half slowed down a little bit. But, I mean, their offense was just really fun to watch. They were a really complete offense and complete team. Their defense, again, haven't given up a touchdown yet this season. And then the special teams with the fake field goal right before the half. Again, just overall, a really fun team to watch. I think they're currently the best team. We will see as the season progresses, but after one week, I do have San Antonio in number one, just because they they looked more like they looked the most like an actual NFL offense. It looked like they were doing a lot of the Shanahan stuff. I liked it. It was fun to watch. They're at number one. We shall see how next week goes. There will be predictions later on this week, probably around Thursday, Friday. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you all next time. Peace.